already five people have died while being in the Montgomery County Jail this year. Hello, I'm James Brown. Gabriela Enright is off today. The most recent, a Vandalia woman. She died two weeks ago. New Center 7's Mike Campbell spent the day working to figure out the problem and talked with jail leaders. In the last five years, there's never been more than five inmate deaths, either here at the jail or after someone was taken to the hospital. But this year, and we're still in April, it's already happened five times. It seems higher than what you've had in previous years. It, it is shocking to us and very concerning. Major Matt Haynes is the Montgomery County Jail Commander. He agreed to an interview, but can't talk about individual cases. All of these, there's ongoing investigations open, and just to be honest, you know, these things become litigious. 52-year-old Aaron Dixon died January 13th after being taken from the jail to the hospital. 54-year-old Stephen Blackshear died January 29th at the jail. 41-year-old Amber Goonan died February 24th after being taken to the hospital. 19-year-old Isaiah Trammell died March 16th after being taken from the jail to the hospital. And the most recent death, 44-year-old Amanda Campbell. She died on April 4th at the jail. Autopsy results are not complete for Trammell and Campbell, but the coroner's investigators found that Dixon, Blackshear, and Goonan all died from various forms of drug intoxication. I don't know if any of these people used drugs again when they were in jail or if they're just still suffering from the effects of, of drugs that they had taken hours or sometimes days ago. Haynes said the Montgomery County Jail is one of the few jails in Ohio to recently install an expensive body scanner to help keep drugs out of the facility. But people can always find ways around that. And he said new designer drugs are deadlier than ever. It's troubling. You know, we, we've never seen anything like this before. Haynes told me the Sheriff's Special Investigation Unit does a death investigation each time. They make sure there is no criminal element to the case. I asked if he understood that some in the community might think corrections officers and medical staff are failing. If we find somebody that wasn't doing what they were supposed to do, we're going to take steps and take corrective action and, um, you know, they're not going to be employed here. Major Haynes says outside of the inmates' families, no one is more upset about what is happening than the people at work at the jail and for the sheriff's department. And they're going to do everything they can to turn this trend around. In downtown Dayton, Mike Campbell, News Center 7. You know, we checked jail records and found one person died in custody in 2019. There were three in 2020, five in 2021, and two last year.